OK, now in order to import some footage into the Mac, uh, it's still pretty easy. So you basically take your camera, uh, plugged in if necessary, so that you're not, avoiding, uh, you're not using the battery, and you plug this USB cable in. It's a standard USB cable that's uh, in the back of the Mac. You'll see that that automatically takes control of the screen there, and if I just touch the PC button, then that takes away. And if I've got iMovie open, then what we get is this screen here. Now that's my import screen, and if I move down here, you can see this tells me which cameras I'm allowed to import from. Now, out of all those choices, this AVCHD one is the one you can't import from, okay? iMovie won't work with it, so you need the MPEG-4. Then, the films that you've just taken will appear, so I can choose whichever ones I want. Let's choose all of them. And come over here to the Import All button. And you can see there that it's asking me where I want to save them. So I'm going to add them to an existing event. That's like a project. And I've put it on the test one. I've also said after import, analyze for stabilization. Remember we could do that with the camera, but actually the Mac does it much more easily. So if I press import, it will start. And you can see it's moving through them quite swiftly. And it generates the thumbnails, analyzes them straight away, and when it's complete, it gives you that little message there. So I can OK that, and I can actually uh, just get rid of that. And then you will see on here, these are all the clips that I've used ready to use in my timeline. And that's basically how you import them. Dead easy, isn't it?